What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Happy Wednesday to you guys. I am back in PA. Now, if you are not a part of the community page, you probably was wondering, where the heck is Anthony? I haven't seen him in a number of days. But if you are a part of the community page, you know that I have been posting on the community page uh, my whereabouts, and I was not feeling well when I was in Milwaukee. So I decided to cut that visit a day short and just rest up for one day. And then I headed back to PA. And I also stayed overnight in Ohio again. And I got back on Monday, the 4th of July. And I kind of just got all my stuff back situated into the car and easing my way back into the car life. All right, so that's that. Remember, the community page is where you will get updates whenever I am away from video making for a few days. All right, guys, so most of you know by now or should know that rice is one of my favorite, favorite foods. But every time I get in the mood or sometimes to have rice, I don't want to cook another entire meal to go along with the rice. So today, guys, I'm going to be making a simple rice cooker dish that on those days for all the other rice lovers out there like myself, when you just be in the mood for just a simple bowl of rice, this meal is going to satisfy your rice gravy. So without further ado, let's get into it. Get into it. All right, guys, I think I have everything set up here ready to make this uh, rice uh, rice dish I have my jackery right here my rice cooker and everything else so all I have to do now is start prepping and getting everything ready so the first thing I have is a cup of rice here that I put into this uh, baggie I'm just going to go ahead and run some water in here. Give the rice a little bit of a rinsing. Help get some of the starch out of it. Just a little bit. Let me move y'all back a little bit. Ooh, I tell you, I be all up in y'all grill. Okay, that's better. Now I can actually just put it on the table. All right, so I have the trash can right here. Give that a little shimmy shimmy. Hey, a little shimmy shimmy there. All right, and in the rice cooker it goes. And that takes care of that. I got rice all over the place, but that's okay. Now, and with the rice, I'm going to put a cup and a half of water. just do a half a cup and 
that should do it. Now let's talk about what's going to go inside along with this rice. What's going to go inside of the rice cooker along with the rice? First, let's put some canola oil in there. This, of course, will help separate the rice. All right, it's time to get my knife out. Because let's talk about everything that I'm going to be putting inside of here to make this rice dish so delicious. It's going to become one of your go-to meals when you want just a simple bowl of rice. Some carrots. Corn. Peas. A tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. An onion. I'm looking all over the place. <laughs> I still haven't figured it out yet. And to make it just a little bit more hearty, some diced ham. I know that thing is right over there. <laughs> and that's all going into here and that's going to cook with the rice and it's going to be so good so tasty so let's get into it all right i'm gonna start off with the onion And this might be too much onion. Now I haven't plugged my fridge back up since I've been back. So I don't have anywhere to put any leftovers. I don't mean rice, I mean leftover like these onions. Yeah. And goes. threw my one little baggie away. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna go ahead and do this tomato. Now we're not gonna cut this tomato up at all. What we're gonna do is take the core of it out Oh, come on, what is happening here? There we 
go. Okay, and we're gonna sit this right in the center. And we're gonna let it steam cook along with the rice. Ah, so good. And now let's get into the vegetables. It's nice to have a big old trash can at your disposal. Don't you hate when the can opener don't work all the way? Cut these up a little bit smaller. And I'll show you when I get everything in there how it looks on the inside. Now let's go with some peas. Why are these cans so goddamn crooked? Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all crooked. It makes it difficult to open. That's just me draining the can. <laughs> All right. Then we got some corn. And we have a shirtless guy over there. Woohoo! <laughs> doing some exercise. <laughs> Woo -woo. And now, let's get some ham in there. I'm gonna be munching on this boy. All righty, there we go. Everything is in there. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, this is what it all looks like on the inside. This is how it's going to cook. All righty, look at that. That looks so good. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and mix this all together. Wowzer, that looks so good. All right, guys, 
Now I'm going to be making a three ingredient sauce to put on top of the rice just to give it some added flavor as well as a little bit more moisture to the rice. So what I'm going to be using is some seasoned soy sauce, some oyster sauce, and a little bit of rice vinegar. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of each in here. And last, some oyster sauce. And it's just a little bit. See, not a whole lot. Just gonna drizzle that on top of the rice. Ah, it's gonna be so delicious, y'all. And the rice should be done in about eh, 20 minutes or so. So I'll see you guys when that happens. Alrighty, guys. Here it is. Look at that. forgot to take that big chunk of tomato out of there but this is what it looks like now let's pour some of this sauce on top of it and dig in <clears throat> All right, let's see how this tastes. These bugs. I will say, <laughs> it's missing some salt and pepper. It's definitely tasty, especially when you get some of the sauce on a uh, fork as well. <clears throat> but it needs to be seasoned. Now, if I would have seasoned the rice, <clears throat> I think that would have taken it to maybe still not a wowzer level, but <clears throat> it would have given it some more taste. The other thing is, because I don't think the tomato did what I wanted it to do, that took away some of the taste on it. Because you know white rice can be very bland. That's hence putting all these ingredients in there. But,
It's tasty. It's not a wowzer by far. It definitely needs some seasoning of the rice. Now, what I should have did was brought some of that 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 Tony Jackery or Shackery or whatever the name of that season is. I should have brought some of that and put some of that in here, and that would have that would have amped it up a lot more. But I say for my first time trying this this type of way, and now that I have an idea of how to make it better, I will make it again, but not a video for you guys. But this is, I say, would be a C. <clears throat> All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my video. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.